Hey you aquarium lovers, this is Sam here once again. I know it's been a long time after introducing Zoro. Uh, after that few more videos and after that I was out. Uh, actually, I was not keeping well. Uh, today, uh, since that time, I have got gone ahead and bought a new tank. Uh, an 18 inches uh, small tank, all equipped. Uh, I've gone ahead and introduced some fishes, uh, some freshwater fishes into it, and it's working nicely. Uh, I've learned a lot from introducing after introducing this tank, and it's been helpful. Uh, but before we go and continue further ahead, I would like to introduce you once again to Zoro, who is right about over here, waiting to see you guys. And there he is. He is nicely enjoying himself over here in the calm serenity of his own two foot tank, enjoying himself alone. And uh, also, I would like you to see the new tank that has been introduced. Where the this is my main tank, which I have gone ahead and built. So we can see a lot of fishes out here there are tetras there are guppies there are loaches there are catfish and today's main uh, this thing is uh, I would like you to also introduce to one of my uh, Zoro's new friend whom I have just introduced yesterday night and that guy is Theodore there we can see Theodore. I hope you guys can see him. He's just running about here and there. I am not able to look at him. Oh yes, there he is. There he is. That's Theodore. If you all can see him. And I hope you guys can see him now. There he is. He is a blue beta. A dark blue beta which I have introduced just yesterday so Theodore is in the main tank and this is the price collection that I've got uh, the baby phrase of my guppies my primary guppies that I had bought in the first lot when I had introduced him to my main tank which was the two fit tank now Theodore is here enjoying himself nicely and he seems to be quiet out here. So my today's video is all about something that I've learned with this new tank that I've set up. So I've introduced some loaches, I've introduced some neon tetras, I've introduced some dinos, uh, zebra dinos and I've some bronze tetra out here and a catfish here which is sitting around so today's this is that I've done a plantation out here if you all can see this and many times people face issues doing the plantation because uh, what happens is the water gets cloudy uh, there are a lot of f fertilizers that needs to be used and due to which it harms the uh, condition of the water. Now one thing I noticed that earlier when my I set up the tank, I did the plantations, I often faced a little cloudy situations in the tank. So that's when I realized that it needs some uh, something that would go ahead and reduce the ammonia level in the water and the nitrate and nitrite needs to be removed and uh, convert this into a good uh, bacterial environment for the for the 
for the tank so what I did was I went ahead and bought uh, this this is this is micro life s2 a quick solution for your aquariums now this thing has helped me a lot I have started treating my aquariums with this and a lot of ammonia nitrate and a lot of things even the cloudiness of the tank has been reduced because of this liquid I would suggest you to go ahead and buy this liquid from Amazon as this helps uh, in the cloudiness uh, the cloudiness which arises due to ammonia nitrate and algae which arise uh, though you have a filter though you have a heater it still arises um, I have seen that this liquid helps you to reduce all your uh, ammonia nitrate and nitrate and it helps your fishes to be healthy so I would suggest you to go ahead and buy this the name of this product is micro life s2 this is manufactured by aquatic remedies they have a website also which is known as www.aquaticremedies.trustpass.alibaba.com okay so great product you could go ahead and also I keep on treating my tank with the general Ridol liquid which is there and it helps as the fray are small they are tend to have infections easily adapt infections easily so I keep on treating them with 5 ml uh, this is the syringe that I use it's a 10 ml 12 ml syringe but I take somewhere around 5 ml of Ridol general liquid and pour it into the tank and my fishes are healthy so this is what I would like to tell you and suggest you go ahead buy that product and you'll see and also for the fertilizers of the plantation uh, plantation helps plantation has definitely helped and kept my fishes healthy so but fertilizer that you use needs to be definitely a product which is uh, soothing to your fishes so make sure that the product that you use do not harm your fishes and because your fishes are your uh, prized products for you they are your prized partners in your life and they will really help you relax your stress because my stress my BP level which was somewhere around 100 uh, 150 by 100 has reduced to normal and uh, I am n not taking any kind of medication or anything at the moment I have come down to normal level and it's helping me so it's a good sign for stress busters when you look at them when you see at them they the way they run the way they keep on hiding and playing with each other so that helps you to relax yourself and calm yourself down so go ahead this was an advice small advice from me that you people need to go ahead and buy that product which is the micro if you all can see that that's the micro life s2 okay i think the cover of the product has been changed at the moment uh, this is a white bottle uh, i think it would come in a black bottle now the label would be black out and it is simply magnificent
okay so you guys take care so next time and i hope to introduce some more new fishes uh, with zoro on the main tank uh, and i'm in the big tank two feet tank and hopefully uh, there would be plantations and good company for zoro soon okay so take care of your aquatic lovers have a nice time